Hello everyone and welcome to this guitar tutorial for the song Wasting Time by Brent Files featuring Drake. So a bit of disclaimer first I'll be playing this song as close and as accurate to its original audio as possible as well as playing it as simple as possible so that more of you guys will be able to follow. But before we begin, please do not forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below so that you guys will be able to stay updated for my future videos. And if you guys would like me to teach you anything else just comment it down below as well. I'll try to do it for you. So yeah, without any further ado, let's just go and jump right into it. Okay, so before I teach you guys the chord progressions that we're going to use in this song, I'd just like to discuss with you the chords that we're going to use throughout this entire song, which are going to be these ones right here. Yep, and the first chord that I'm going to teach you guys is going to be the G minor 7 chord, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, basically we're going to be pressing the 3rd fret on the lower E string, 3rd fret on the D string, 3rd fret on the G string, as well as the 3rd fret on the B string. And as for the A string and the high E strings, these are not going to be included or dead strings in this case. The next up is going to be the A minor 7 chord, which is going to be like this. Now this has the exact same chord shape as the G minor 7 chord right here. But we're just going to be moving this entire thing from the 3rd fret up to the 5th fret. Yep, so it's going to be 5, 5, 5, 5. With both A strings and the high E strings, that strings are not included in this case as well. Now next up is going to be the B flat major 7 chord, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, basically we're going to be pressing the 6th fret on the lower E string, 7th fret on the D string, 7th fret on the G string, as well as the 6th fret on the B string. And as for the A strings and the high E strings, these are not going to be included or dead strings in this case as well. Yep, and lastly for the D minor 7 chord, it's going to be like this. And to do this chord, basically we're going to be using our index finger to bar the entire 5th fret starting from the A string down to the high E string. And as for the rest of the chord shape, it's going to be the 6th fret on the B string as well as the 7th fret on the D string. Yep, so it's going to be 5, 7, 5, 6, and then 5. And when it comes to the lower E string, this is not going to be included or dead string in this case as well. And as for the plucking pattern that we're going to use throughout this entire song, it's going to be this one right here. Yep, so to do this, basically we're going to be plucking the bass string or the lower E string or the A string, depending on the root note of the chord that you're going to be playing at the time, as well as the D, G, and the B strings all together. And then slapping it, and then the bass string once again, then the D string, then the G and the B strings together, and then slapping it. So for the first half, it's going to be the bass string, D, G, and the B strings together, and then slapping it. And as for the second half of this plucking pattern, it's going to be the bass string first, then the D string, then the G and the B strings together, and then slapping it. So with that said, that entire plucking pattern is going to be worked for four whole counts, for each chord that you're going to be playing in this song. Okay, so for the intro, verse, pre-chorus, as well as the chorus sections of this song, the chord progression that we're going to use is going to be this one right here. But before I teach you guys this, I'll be showing you a demonstration first. So let's go have a look. So with that said, the first chord that we're going to play is going to be the G minor 7 chord for two counts, which is going to be like this. And in order to do this chord, basically we're going to be using the first half of the plucking pattern that I taught you guys earlier. So it's going to be like this. Yep, the next stop it's going to be the A minor 7 chord for two counts, which is going to be like this. B string, D and the G and the B strings all together. Then slapping it. The next stop is going to be the B flat major 7 chord for four counts. Which is now in this case, we're not going to be using the entire plucking pattern once. So it's going to be like this. Yep, then lastly, we're going to be using the D minor 7 chord for 8 counts. Which is in this case, we're going to be using the entire plucking pattern twice now this time. So it's going to be like this. Yep, so once again, starting from the G minor 7 chord, up to the D minor 7 chord, we're going to be repeating that entire chord progression once, so it's going to be like this. And there you 
go. This is how you play the intro, verse, pre-chorus, as well as the chorus sections of this song. So when it comes to Drake's rapping part, the chord progression that we're going to use is going to be this one right here. Now for this one, I won't be doing any demonstrations because I don't really feel confident to pull this one off, but the chord progression is actually pretty simple. It's just going to be the G minor 7 chord for two counts, the D minor 7 chord for two counts. So basically, it's just going to be like that all throughout Drake's verse, and we're just going to be repeating that entire chord progression for a total of 28 times. So it's just going to be like this. One. Seven, eight, all the way up until 28. That's going to be basically Drake's verse when it comes to this song. Okay, so when it comes to the outro section of this song, the chord progression that we're going to use is going to be this one right here. Yep, so before I teach you guys this, I'll be showing you a demonstration first. So let's go have a look. If you're gonna waste your time, don't waste your time with me. You can have all space more than you need there's no pressure girl if you got time to waste waste it with me So with that said, the first chord that we're going to play is going to be the G minor 7 chord for 2 counts, just going to be like this, then the A minor 7 chord, then the B flat major 7 chord for 4 counts, then the D minor 7 chord for 8 counts. Yup, then after that we're going to be repeating that entire chord progression starting from the G minor 7 chord for 2 counts up to the D minor 7 chord for 8 counts 4 more times, which is going to be like this. That's four. And that's basically how you play the outro section of this song. So yeah, this is the end of the guitar tutorial. Thank you guys for reaching this far into the video. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed it so that I'll know. And please once again do not forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below so that you guys will be able to stay updated for my future videos. So if you guys would like me to teach anything else, just comment right down below as well. And I'll try to do it for you. And if you guys would like to watch my other guitar tutorials, just click these ones right here. So good, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.